Last week we were looking at smiling more and the boost this can have to our mood and other people around us. Plus how this can also help our confidence grow. Today we're looking at laughter, which is actually amazing. It's such a positive emotion and on some levels can be seen as something that has medicinal properties. It can really help us connect with people in ways that can trigger healthy physical and emotional changes in our bodies. Laughter strengthens our immune system, boosts our mood, diminishes pain and protects you from the damaging effects of stress. Nothing works faster or is more dependable in bringing your mind and body back into balance and a good old laugh. Humour lightens your burdens, inspires hope, keeps you grounded, focused, alert, and also helps you release anger, and so in turn finding forgiveness more easily. With all those powerful properties, I guess you're wondering why you haven't been laughing more. Well, sometimes life can knock the laughter out of us and leave us serious and often more anxious without it. There's so much power to heal and renew. The ability to laugh easily and frequently is an amazing support for helping us deal with problems in our life, enhancing your relationships and supporting both physical and emotional health. Best of all, it's priceless, which is not many things in life anymore, which are priceless. It's fun and free and easy to use. It's constantly on tap and the right attitude and techniques can easily start you being more able to access it comfortably and easily. As children, We used to laugh hundreds of times a day. But as we've grown up and moved into adult life, we tend to be more serious and laugh a lot less. But by seeking out more opportunities for humour and laughter, you can improve your emotional health and strengthen your relationships, find greater happiness and even add years to your life. This can really help with your anxiety too, as the health benefits of laughter are profound in the fact that it can relax your whole body with just one hearty, heartfelt laugh. It relieves physical tension and stress, leaving your muscles relaxed for up to 45 minutes afterwards. Now, I've always known laughing was great, But researching this blog shocked me into just how good it is for us. Laughter boosts the immune, decreases stress hormones, increases immune cells, infection-fighting antibodies, thus improving your resistance to disease. As well as this, laughter triggers the release of endorphins, the body's natural feel good chemicals and these endorphins give us that overall sense of well-being and can even temporarily relieve pain. Laughter can also protect the heart by improving the function of the blood vessels and increasing blood flow which can help protect you against heart attack and cardiovascular problems. Laughter is a gift which just keeps giving I'm thinking of giving up my job and becoming a stand-up comic because laughter also burns calories too. But before you think you can use laughter in replacement to going to the gym, it's not that many. But they found that if you laugh for 10 to 15 minutes, you can burn an extra 40 calories, which is enough over a year or so to, to lose three or four pounds. But nothing diffuses anger and conflict faster than a shared laugh. If things are hard or difficult, then in certain situations, laughter can lighten the angry load on us and the other person's attitude too. Looking at the funny side can put problems into perspective. 
and enable you to move on from confrontations without holding on to the bitterness and resentment. Because there are many things in life we can't change or alter and finding solutions to help us accept and move on is the key to better mental, emotional and physical health. Laughter may even help you live longer. One study in Norway found that people with a stronger sense of humour outlive those that don't laugh as much. The difference was particularly notable for those battling cancer and there is lots of positive facts and life-changing stories about people who have laughed themselves better. Don't get me wrong, if you get run over by a bus, I don't think we need to give up going to A&E and just lay it on the road laughing. But as we work through our recovery from anything in life, laughter has to be a key factor. I often with my clients use humour and have intuitively taken this way of approaching things for many years in my practice and in my life too. Now even I have learnt why I love to laugh lots. I always knew it made me feel good and in doing things which make me feel good I've always been at the top of my list. I exercise for the feel good factor, eat healthy food to feel good and like to not take life too seriously by having laughter and humour in it. But I'm going to commit to a big laugh every day as feeling the benefits are fantastic for me and my loved ones. In building confidence, it's essential not to take ourselves too seriously and be able to laugh off our mistakes. This will help us feel more secure inside and the fear of making mistakes will lessen too, thus enhancing our ability to feel safe and secure. Of course, laughter isn't appropriate for certain situations. We can't laugh off other people's problems. They have to choose to laugh them off and we can join in with them though. But we can help ourselves see the funny side of things and embrace our whole life with laughter as laughter is such a positive emotion. If you have made a mistake at work, instead of letting it eat you up on the journey home, you can find a way to see the funny side of it. Most of the things that can impact our lives negatively aren't life or death situations. And these are the ones where humour and laughter can be invaluable to enhance our lives. If it's been a full on week and not much humour, you could find something funny to watch on TV or find some jokes online and share them with your loved ones. You could challenge each other to find the best and the worst jokes out there and once a week have a laughter night. The list is endless with laughter but try and make it like air in your life, something essential to your health and well-being, and that you can't or don't want to live without. Thanks for dropping by.